Hey guys, iOS 7 is out for developer preview and I'm going to show you how to install it on your devices. Hey guys, now the first thing that we have to do is we have to go to developer.apple.com. Once you get there, you'll either have to sign in now or you can sign in once we go to actually download the iOS 7 beta. But if you'll see the very first thing on the screen is the iOS 7, which is pretty sweet. You can learn more about it, but we're just going to go ahead and download it within the iOS Dev Center. Now, once you get into here, you'll go ahead and click the iOS 7 SDK Beta. You'll scroll down a little bit. There's some README before downloading stuff that you probably should look at. And uh, But if you continue to scroll down, you'll see the iOS 7 Beta, which, uh, again, is pre-release and uh, for developers only at this point. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to find the iPhone or device that you're currently using and download that package. All right, So I'm on the 4S unfortunately, I wish I had the 5, but I had to download the 4S version of the, uh, the beta. And so go ahead and click that, it's going to take you a little bit to download that. Once you get it, it's going to be a DMG file. So go ahead and open that file and uh, it'll unpack basically what they call an IPSW which is an update file. Now once you've got that unpacked, flip over to iTunes, make sure you got your iPhone plugged in or your device plugged in and uh, you'll see your device. Go into your device and you'll see that I've already updated my device to the iOS 7 here. But uh, it'll, be, it'll tell you what software package you're currently running. All we're going to do is we're going to hold option, we're going to click the check for update which is going to prompt us to find our file that we downloaded which uh, depending on where you have it, mine's in my download folder I'm going to go ahead and click the iPhone 4 and go ahead and click open and once you click open it's going to validate that you, download this, you downloaded the software and uh, you guys are legit with your um, software development package and then it's going to reset your phone and about 10 minutes later you'll have iOS 7 on screen pretty sweet man